Hello Scorpio, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your November 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general and love tarot reading for the whole of the Scorpio Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. And also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the links to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Or you can go to my channel, Karina Star Tarot, on YouTube, and you'll find all the links there. And just a quick reminder to you all, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and absolutely subscribe to my channel. I would love to get more Scorpio energy into my channel. Thank you. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading, Scorpio. And I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck, the Romance Angels, and the Love Island Oracle cards. So the first card out for you is the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands. A major arcana card, the Empress. This is Taurus and Libran energy, so you could be dealing with any of those signs. We've also got another major arcana card, the Justice card. This is Libran energy, you could be dealing with Libra. Got the Four of Swords. The Five of Cups. The Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. So we're starting off with the Seven of Cups here. This is someone looking at their options. I feel that there may be opportunities opening up for, for some of you here. Um, you may have a choice to make. Um, in regards to career options for some of you definitely um, also with the seven of cups I think that also someone could be maybe not acting realistically someone may be feeling deluded or having illusions someone may be quite materialistic could be dealing with someone that is quite materialistic that wants the better things in life, um, someone that's a bit of a dreamer, someone that could possibly be looking at other options. Um, someone that's looking back over things and not being able to face the truth about it. Someone that's wondering if there's something better out there for them. And I feel that this could be someone that may have stabbed you in the back. Ten of Swords. Something which you have gone through is being very painful. And it's a cycle that you, that's nearly completed for you. That you're coming out of. It's been a very painful cycle. And it has, I feel, very strongly something to do with someone who not only looked at other options. Maybe pursued those other options also. I feel that you may have, you, you may really have um, been hit hard with this. Um, this person really hurt you. But like I said, you are coming out of that cycle. This is completion. This is nearly, I think you're nearly over the worst of it here. It may have a lot to do with um, the financial stability here. Um I mean, this card can indicate that, that maybe there was, um, maybe this was a relationship that where there was a commitment or there was meant to be a commi commitment. Um, I do feel that this definitely being stabbed in the back is, it may be related to financial issues here. Someone possibly could have left you with debt. Someone who couldn't take the stress of 
and the burden of debt and maybe left you to it basically someone that did a runner someone that wanted better things in life couldn't cope any longer someone that bailed out on you someone that left you to pick up the pieces I feel that actually I'm going to clarify the seven of cups for you I think yeah clarified by the seven of swords in the one and the lovers yeah obviously this is someone you were romantically involved with someone you were in a relationship with um someone that definitely deceived you stabbed you in the back um that was dishonest that would it was doing things behind your back um someone that definitely couldn't cope um with the stress someone that left you i feel in debt or left you to cope with the debt that both of you perhaps had um created that situation but they left you to deal with it um yeah i, I feel that um this person definitely was not being very honest and forthright about how they really felt about it all and um the pressure the stress they were feeling from it i feel that they just went out there and tried to find an escape for a way out of this by means of looking at other options and i think they did and that's why you feel so stabbed in the back by this person because I feel like with the Empress here, I feel that you have, have been very supportive and been very loyal to this person. Um, you've given this person your all. You're stuck by this person through thick and thin. And you've always been there for this person. But you you haven't got the same back. This person's basically did a runner on you. Um, they definitely stabbed you in the back. They didn't couldn't give you back what you gave them basically and with justice cards you definitely know you deserve better you want you have not been treated fairly in this situation by this person uh this person has definitely done you an, an, inju an injustice um and you feel badly treated by this person really betrayed you know on the deepest level um and you've really tried to get yourself back on track you know you've had no choice but to deal with all this on your own and uh, I feel that you are I mean around you there's all growth there's opportunity um, there's inspiration there's creativity I think you're the type of person that can ch turn things around and I feel that with all this growth around you that tells me that you have managed to find a way out of this crisis this debt you have found a way back up you know you're, you're back you're back up there basically i feel that this tells me that there is you have created um the means to improve your financial situation and things are looking up definitely and you may be able to afford to take a break you know i feel that this with the four of swords you may need to take a break you know you've been through it a lot lately and you may be feeling a bit emotionally depleted you know emotionally mentally physically spiritually you know you may need a break and now i feel that you can afford to take that break so you may consider taking some time out taking going somewhere you know on holiday resting up um treating yourself you know putting yourself first your own interests you know you're um giving you showing yourself that self-love you know um treating yourself to a bit of a holiday you know you've worked very hard to stabilize yourself um to get the balance back in your life after all this heartache and pain you know and, and you and i feel that you're going to do it definitely you're going to take a break there's been a lot of sadness you know you may have been quite depressed at one point it could be the other person that was in this state but they never really shared the you know their true feelings how they really felt 
Instead, they did a runner, you know, they escape. They run away from their problems rather than confront them. They deceive themselves, really. They lie to themselves as well as the people around them. Um, it can also represent the sadness you feel, the way this person treated you as well. Sadness on both sides, but this person, ultimate betrayal, you know, it was still... I, didn't, I kind of feel I stopped myself there because I feel that this person's feeling this way. I really do. And I feel this person with the two cups standing there, standing upright. I kind of feel this person still, this person still harbors feelings for you. This is someone very much in regret mode now. Regretting their actions, wish they'd handled it differently than the way they did. This is someone that's still got feelings for you. Someone that's definitely feeling very trapped in their head, in their emotions, not knowing what to do about this, not being able to figure a way out of this. Um, I kind of feel with the Eight of Swords, this person, you know, feels very stuck in this situation, can't see clearly, has allowed stress. Um, and panic to overwhelm them, consume them. So they feel like there's no escape. They feel like they've done damage and there's perhaps no way back for them. But that doesn't mean to say they ain't going to try. I, I kind of feel with this next card coming up that they may try, but it might be what they've done to you. It might be unforgivable. I can see a lot of you with the Four of Cups here not being interested in what they have to offer, offer because you know when the going got tough, you know, um, tough get going, you know, um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Um, but you know, this person did a runner on you when things got too much, didn't share their feelings or how they really felt, instead looked for alternatives, um, looked at other options. For some of you, this could be involving a, a third party situation. Um, some of you, they just, um, you know, just couldn't handle the stress and just left, basically. Um, but without showing their feelings. But I'm going to clarify that card. It's, yeah, it's clarified by the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely an apology. They're definitely very apologetic. Um, even though they're going to try to apologise to you and, and, and you know, they, I think in their heart they know that what they've done is 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 really bad, you know. The way they've treated you is is, is unforgivable, and um, I think in their heart they feel that they'd be they'd be very surprised if you do take them back. But they still have feelings for you, and they're hoping that you will take them back and forgive them. But I'm not so sure. Some of you cannot forgive this because they want there for you. Where was the teamwork? Where, was, where were they when you needed them? They, they want to work on it, want to build a future with you, but, but they have to take the good with the bad, you know, in a relationship. And you've learned that when things get bad, they can't cope. They just do that runner, you know, and um, you're not really sure if you can forgive that. Let's get you out some romance angels now. worth waiting for so divine timing is that work in your love life it suggests this could suggest someone new coming in someone that's worth waiting for um for some of you you, you might give this person a chance it may you may need to it might be a, t a case of things not happening the way they should straight away but I, I really do think this is connected to someone new so some some of you could have someone new coming in definitely you have also got reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life yeah this person's going to try and come back but in their heart they know that what they've done is really bad you know what we treat here it's time to disconnect from the world like i said you're definitely I, I definitely see you taking a break here, having a, some sort of holiday, definitely. I think, you know, you've come through this crisis on your own without support. 
you know, being left in the lurch, being left to sort it out. And now you, you're going on holiday, definitely. You've got finances and career. Financial issue, issues are a factor in your love life right now, yeah. Um, finances, your financial situation definitely was a factor that um, broke this relationship up. Um, but I think it's um, the actions that they took, you know, they looking at other options, maybe. I, I keep saying it in my mind. Um, it's a horrible thought, but there's a, a small percentage out there that not only looked at other options, they went with another option as someone that had money, materialistic things. I think they went for someone with that wasn't that didn't have a financial uh, problem going on, someone that could... Um, support them basically financially but like I said your your finances and career that's all improving for you. you you're the one that's dug yourself out of this you've helped yourself children could also be involved in this situation could have had children together as also so maybe that is why there is still continued contact with this person because you have kids together Another issue, you know, for both of you. And you've also got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I, I really think that's what you are actually doing now. You know, you, you're very, you've shown that you're very strong, strong, resilient, very loving, loyal. You know, you, you know that you've behaved in the right way. You've done the right thing. And um, I think you realise, you know, it's, you've done nothing wrong. And I feel, you know, you you know how strong you are and you're deserving a of, of this holiday, very much deserving of this holiday. You've shown, you've shown yourself a lot of love by doing it. You've got new love, yeah, I knew it. New love is definitely coming in for some of you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so yeah. And it's all in divine timing, remember. So new love is definitely on its way into you. It's in divine timing. It'll come there. So let's get you out some Love Island cards to wrap this up for you. Self-indulgence, another card about showing yourself some self-love, focusing on yourself, realizing how, you know, to value your self-worth. Taking time to heal, doing the shadow work, showing yourself some appreciation, yeah. Definitely put that there. We're talking, interesting, conversing more, um, getting a text email. Yeah, I think you are, like I said, going to hear from your ex. Um, there's going to be a lot of talking. Um, definitely a lot of talking. I think this person is going to eventually open up to you and tell you, you know, how they were really feeling, what they were thinking, why they did what they did, but maybe too little too late, you know, because you feel stabbed in the back, yeah. Again, clarifying the Ten of Swords here, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, you know, you do feel very stabbed in the back by this person realize that they can't really be trusted and you've got date me i told you there's something in here about meeting got new love you've got worth it worth waiting for in divine timing uh, definitely some of you are, are definitely going to be meeting someone new you're going to get be dating getting back out there setting a date is someone setting a date with you definitely yeah for those of you who don't want to um reconcile with your with the person, with your partner that left you when things got tough. Yeah, going out with friends. Yeah, time with friends, moving on, happy, being single for a while, living in the moment, having fun. And you're gonna go out to get yourself, take yourself away. You're gonna have a nice holiday, maybe with friends, perhaps. If you're reading, before you leave me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.